Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So as you can see by the hand grip I've got here, I am joined by Nan. She's back in the house. <laughs> Woo! Say hello. Hello, hi. <laughs> you can put your other hand in. <laughs> hi. <laughs> She's put on her posh voice because that is not how you sound. What was that? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having a giggle. So we have made these cards, which you're now, well, in a moment, you're going to see our tutorial. These are the six by six version of the pop out gatefold card. So I will show you the other one that I don't actually know because I don't think I ever showed you that one. So I'll show you the video later. And you can see the other size of this, what we've made. But what we've done is, do you want to take your belly band off at the same time as me? So we can reveal our beautiful card. So these ones have a belly band, just slide it off. Those of you that are familiar with this style card will get it straight away, but as you open it up, the inside pops out. Do you want to put yours up here, Nan, if you kind of lift it up a bit? Up here, a bit more, come over that way. There we go. This is how it looks. So those of you that remember that, like I said, the pop-out gatefold card, which was the 5x7, this is the 6x6. Nan's is a bit different because she wanted to do some bits coming out underneath here, and I'm going to do that as well, but I haven't got around to die-cutting them yet, so you'll see that in the photos. But it's really cute, and this is using, it's such a beautiful collection, isn't it, this one? Oh, it is. That so it is. Nan was choosing all of her, um, what toppers she wanted, and the papers and things like that. And actually, I only had a few papers left because I made all of those gift bags, because lots of you were asking for 8x8 for eight eight size gift bags. But it's this one here. So this is the paper tree, and it's the Christmas tail. So we've used the paper kit, where you get all these toppers, and then we've used the papers here as well but it was literally the last ones I had left, but I had this lovely one and that lovely one, which was perfect, and then we had these here. So it's all worked really, really well. We've used the gold, um, sorry, the gold, the red glitter card. You really like that, don't you? Oh, I did. Nan's favorite color is red. Yeah, I love it. So that's, yeah, that was perfect. And then we've got it plain on the front, but once that belly band sits over there, I just think it looks really, really Makes nice. Sense. A lot of different. It does, doesn't it? Really nice. And then on the back, you've got room to write your message. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut another strip of decorative paper. Again, you'll see that in the videos. And um, you can obviously just pop that in there as well. But you've got room here to write your message. You can always put it on the side and write your message that way as well and stamp something. But it's a really nice card. I love the way it pops out. It's got a really nice profile when it's on the mantle or on the side table. And I just think it looks really, really nice. So, yeah. Are we going to show them how we made this now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and I have cut all of the pieces that you need for one card. Nan has all of her bits and pieces ready here, so I'm going to talk you through how we do the scoring. So first of all, to make this card, because as I said at the beginning, you um, the last one that I made was the 5x7 when it all folded flat, so this is 6x6. Six six. So this is a piece of 12 by six inch cardstock and along the 12 inch side first of all you just want to score at five and a quarter and six and three quarters and then flip it over and score at three and nine and then flip it back again and the reason we do that is just because we're doing like a concertina fold so we want to make sure that the cardstock doesn't crack got that nan I have, yes. <laughs> okay, so like I said, Nan's is already scored and we've already gone ahead and folded hers for her. So I'm going to just get rid of the scoreboard and we'll tell everybody all of these measurements in a minute. So what you'll have is you'll have your two score lines in the centre here where you would have scored the correct way. So first of all, you want to fold them both so they're both a mountain fold. And then these outer ones here, you want to fold them so they're a valley fold and you should have that shape. Exactly the same as the other pop-out uh, gatefold card that I've done. So just fold and burnish all of those score lines because you don't want this to be a bouncy card. We want it to lie nice and flat once we've put everything on. Okay, so there it is. And then when it folds nice and flat, it's gonna go like that and it will fit into our six by six card um, envelopes, which we've got there. Okay, so let's show you there's nans all the same all ready to go so we have our two six by six pop out gatefold cards then we've got all these mats and layers here so because i'm using the glitter card so nan's got exactly the same here already and she's chosen really cute images oh no i've got the wrong ones around that was my one and you've got that one so that was the one you liked wasn't it the little bear that's right okay so 
once I've gone through all these, then you can watch me and Nan putting everything together. And we're going to do a little bit of bling and probably some die cuts towards the end as well. But because I'm sticking on this glitter cardstock, everything I've stuck down on here is using red tape. So I've just used this here because it's very sticky and it sticks really well to glittered cardstock. These are the back panels, so you've got somewhere to write your message. I will probably write my message this way, just in case you do want to write quite a lot. Otherwise, you can you know, still do it that way as well. But what you will need is four pieces. Now, two of these are for the inside, and because the idea is that you have this card open and displayed like this, I've got the nicer, I mean, this is lovely paper as well, but the nicer of the paper on the inside because that's how it's going to be. It's going to be open. I think it's going to look really pretty, don't you? Mm, very nice. And then these are going to go on the front. So in terms of what I've got here, the red cardstock is, just check I've got, oh, wrong way around. So we are, no, got centimetres there. So, here we go. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarter by five and three quarter is the red. So you want four pieces. And then the pattern paper on top is two and a half by five and a half. Just check again. Yep. And again, you want four pieces, but if you do want to do it like we've done it, then you'll want a, one pattern on the inside. And then these pieces are going to go here on the front. Mm -hmm. But then we're going to have our belly band with the other image on there and lots of decoration. It's going to look really, really nice. So that's those pieces. We'll get them stuck down. And we just use normal glue, or in my case, the Kalau glue, to stick all that down just to give it that strength. Then these pieces here are for inside here. And then they're the same size again for the back, but these are blank because this is where you'll write your message. So again, for the, the mat, you want four pieces that are two by five and three quarters. And then the white is one and three quarter by five and a half. So again, four of those sizes that I've given you. And then this piece is gonna go right in the center with our little pop out piece on the front. And the mat for this one is one and a quarter, again, the same length, which is five and three quarters. And then the lovely pattern on top there is one by five and a half. And you just want one of each of those sizes. So Nan has exactly that all here. We went ahead and we stuck all that before just so that, you know, the, we want to keep the video short, but also you don't need to watch us sticking all of these mats and layers down. Okay, you will also need the belly band, but that is optional because I know not everybody likes to do the belly band, but the belly band will still fit in the envelope. So when we get to that, I'll show you because it will be an optional piece and not everybody, you know, as I mentioned, will want to use that. So what we're going to do first of all, and then I'll talk you through all our lovely, they're so cute, aren't they? Yeah. Our fun little toppers. They are. I've got a special friend and Nana's got a special couple because she's already got someone that she wants to give that to. So we'll put this on high speed, but we are now going to stick both of us. So let's bring you over here, Nan, and pop those there for you. So there's your pattern that you wanted. Mm -hmm. So you're going to stick those ones there. You're going to stick those ones on the front, which I'll show you in a second. Then you've got the larger pattern. Oh, yes. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. It's going to go there. And then your side ones oh, are there and there. So that's how yours is going to look that's opened lovely. up. I think it's so pretty. Yeah. And then those are going to go underneath this bit here for the back for you to write your message. And they're going to go on this underside here. So that's where yours are going to be. Mine are going to be exactly the same. So like I said, I'm going to put this on high speed now and me and Nan are going to get this all stuck down. Okay, so we have stuck everything down. Do you like the way it looks so far, Nan? I do. Yeah? Very much. Okay, so next we want to stick these pieces here. So these are from the cutout pieces in the pack. So mm -hmm. this is how they all look. You get all these different ones, but Nan chose them, and actually I thought they look really nice, so I've chosen that one there. Mm -hmm. Cute, isn't he? It and that's is. one for yeah. a special friend. So you get all kinds of ones there. Mm -hmm. um, again, there's just, yeah, there's so much to choose. And then what we've done is we've just stuck them on a little bit of some white card just to frame it, just so you can actually see it a bit better on there. So the idea is that we're going to have it kind of like that and then that a little bit below. So whatever you're going to, you're going to, you're going to stick within this middle panel, you want to make sure it stays within this section because obviously that's going to close yeah. up. 
so we don't want anything to get in the way but we are going to die cut a few things and maybe stick them behind it so this is going to be a real nice kind of pop out piece so first of all we just want to stick these down so like I said ours are going to be about there so if you want to grab a little bit of your glue and what you want to do is just put it like through the centre there right. you don't want to go all no. over there because we only want to stick right. to the middle bit all right Oh, that's great. Do you like it? I do, very much so. Okay, so now that's obviously how it's all going to close yeah. up. We're going to add some more to it in a minute, but whilst um, we've got it this way, we want to add the belly band. So this is a piece of 12 by what's uh, one and a half, but it doesn't have to be 12. So if you're using letter paper length or A4 length, that will be fine as well. But this is what's going to happen now. So that's going to sit over the top. And I never score the belly bands, I just let them just bend around on their own. So it's going to go like this and it basically keeps it closed, it's like a mini little, yeah, so yeah. I guess it's kind of a bit like a mini envelope yes, really. Yes. So do you want to lay yours underneath like that and f wrap it around? Don't even worry if they're not even sides because it's all going to be covered. Right. Yep, that's spot on, couldn't get it any better. Okay, so me and Nan have just wrapped our belly bands around and then we have chosen our toppers for our belly bands. So Nan's going for the really cute bunny and I'm going for the robin and I'm going to have winter wishes on mine and Nan's going to have it's Christmas. All right. And then I'm just going to trim those down now using my guillotine. Again, that's completely optional, but I do think these look nice when they've got that white frame around them. So I'm just going to get these cut out. Okay, so we've stuck everything down and I just think because the white's quite white against yeah, this, yeah. it'd be nice if we have, oh, this is just some scraps, but if we stick them on there, so one there and I'll stick yeah, yes. one there and then once that's on top and then we add some embellishments and our little, look, it's Christmas time. Do you think that looks nice? Oh, definitely. That red, that nice sparkle. And we'll put yeah. some little bits of bling there. So I've got goes, these. This kind of goes like sort of rain. Yeah, no. all matches, doesn't yes, it? That's what and then I've got them. Do you remember when you used oh, those on the card? Yes. You really like them. So I thought I I'd did. bring these out for Nan so we can yeah. add some hearts onto this. And I also brought those out because I thought that went quite they're well. Pretty. So yeah. you can always put them on the front. So yeah. first of all, you want to stick these pieces. So pop a little bit of glue on. Um, these pieces here, I'll give them measurements in a moment, but you just want to pop a bit of glue, just like that on the back. Just on the back? Yeah, don't, you don't have to, you know, go too crazy with it, and then we're just going to stick it down. And, um, because I'm using scraps, it's not, it's, the length isn't exact here, but because that's going to be over the top, it doesn't matter. You want to make sure you get it right to the edge here. What I'll do now is I'll just help you get, yeah, just a little bit more glue, because you want to get this to stick. It's only because we've got a, the edge to stick it on. So if I just cover that a bit more for you. So there you go, you can stick it on there now, but just get it kind of there. So there you go, if you want to stick that one down there, then you can do the other one the same. Yeah. Stick more to, oh, hang on, you're sliding off a bit there. It's mm. quite slippery until it, it does grip quite quickly. Just get that end bit gripped just there. That's it, just where it kind of where it wraps around, it puts a little bit of, I guess, a little bit of tension on it. Put my one on here. So yeah, when you put your glue on, just try and make sure you get it on close to the edges on the short sides because they are the bits that are going to be right. just like there. So you want to get that on that yeah. side there. There we go. So what's going to happen now is that is going to stick right on the top. Like oh, that. Yeah. Doesn't it look nice? Yeah. It looks oh, really, really lovely. cute. Yeah. But because we're using um, litter here, we're going to have to use something more sticky, so it's probably going to be best if we put this red tape on here. So I'll just give you a hand and stick it on here. Right, so you hold that, I'm going to hold this down for you, and you want to stick it across the equal sides of that if you can. All right, if you hover it over then, if you need a bit of help, so yeah, I think i just bring it up a bit like that for you. Are you happy with that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. push that down. Because what you want to make sure is that we've got none of the sticky tape actually coming through. So now you should be able to slide that off and then Lisa will be able to get into the card. Yeah, you just want to check under there. See none of the tape's That's coming through? Clever. So now you've got your belly yeah. band. So now that will just go on there.
and hold it all together. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Really, really nice. Better than any shop brought card. Yeah. Okay, I'll just put mine. So now you want to grab, you want to add a little bit of glue onto the back of that. And where? I can put it anywhere. Yeah. Do you want to go maybe off to the side there? Oh, yeah. Up. Do you think maybe coming off a bit? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, or do you fine. want it in? No, that's fine. No, because it covers him up a bit, doesn't so it? So you want it that way? Yeah. Okay. Because this glue you can rub away. Yeah, that's good. So it doesn't matter if it... That is very good. Yeah, so now yeah. we can just rub that all away with our finger. And you would never know. Yeah? yeah? It's yeah. cute, isn't it? Yeah. So that's our belly band. Okay, so we've both finished our belly bands. Then um, I've got these little bits here. So did you want to... Do you want to put up a heart there yeah, or on here? She likes hearts. Yeah, so you want to pop a couple of them? And then we'll finish the inside in a moment. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really pretty. I yeah. love them. Okay, so next we're just going to add a little bit more to the inside. So if you want to slide off your belly band, Nan. Okay, and then open it up. That's clever, that. Yeah. It's upside down. <laughs> oh dear. So what I thought is it Lovely might be then. quite nice to have a few, I don't know, just some green sprigs and yeah. some leaves maybe coming behind it. So yeah. let's go and get some die cut pieces. Okay, so we just raided my drawer of just all my kind of leftover die cut pieces that I have. And we've got quite a few bits here that we think might work, mm. mightn't they? Yeah. So some of these things you'll recognise. The, this is from the, um, the John next door. It's the Ivy Leaf Die. You can cut all of them at the same time and then you get all of these obviously different shapes here. So I know quite a few of you have got that one now because it's um it is very good. But I've also got like this holly here. See I've got I've got holly in my one, so that one might work there. But then you've got the red ponsettia flowers, and I think these kind of you'd quite liked those, didn't I you? I do, yes, yes. You could have, I don't know, just a few little 3D ones. I don't know, what do you think? Yes. So yes, it's entirely like up to you. No, I don't I like, want you to no, think. I do like those. I do. So, and then we've got all these bits here. So you could have a few green bits like yep. behind. Yep, yep. Do you yep. like that idea? I do like that. Yes, I do. And I've got, because these ones I've already distressed. I've done these a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Um, mm. You've got a couple there. So you could have one maybe behind there. And you could have one maybe behind there yeah quite like that mm -hmm. okay so what i would do is pop a bit of glue on the top because then you're going to stick it under like that right so if you try and put a blob of glue on there and like there And then, do you still want to go for these? Yes, I'd yeah. like a couple or okay. whatever. So where do you think? Where do you want? Oh, well, I'll, I'm going to leave that to you because well, I'll pop you're some more of an expert. All right, well, me. I'll put the glue on and you can guide me to where you want it. Well, do you I'd want like it down one here? down there, yes. Okay. One there. And perhaps one each. Um, what here? thinking about it on there. Oh, you want them on this bit? So we can put one? Yeah, one on there and one on there in okay. the corner. In okay. The corner. Yeah, no, I like that. No, I do. It's good, isn't it? Yes, it's lovely. That's yeah. Nan's there. And like I said, you've got the room on the back there. We're probably going to... I've, I'm just seeing... Yeah, I have got some scraps. I would do another panel in the middle on the back there as well, which we will do. I think that looks really, really lovely. Don't you? Yes. So I'm going to carry on and do mine off camera, and I'll show you all that at the end. OK, so we've finished our cards. Do you like making that one, Nan? I loved it, yes. What did you enjoy the most? Well, just doing it, you know, it's something different. Yeah. You know? And what's your favourite part of the card? I like the middle. Yeah? Yes. All this decoration, it's nice, yes, isn't it? I do definitely. like, like and this. I like the flowers in the corner. Yeah. I do like those. And they shine as well, because yes, they've got that they gold. Yes, and they shine. And I like the, the glitter bit in the front. Yeah. It's just lovely. So let's fold it all flat, and do you want to grab your belly band that's just up there and close it all so everyone can see it all together? It's so good. 
Okay, so there are the cards with the belly band on. I think it looks really nice. It's quite special when you've got that belly band, isn't it? I yeah. think it looks really, really sweet. Yeah. And then you've got your yeah. six by six envelope. So some people won't use an envelope, they just keep the belly band and that is the envelope, but we have got the envelopes here. And just to show you that it does fit, these are to fit a six by six card. You've got plenty of room there. The belly band just slides up, just slide yeah. it like kind of back in like so. And there it will all fit in your envelope. Lovely. So thank you for joining me today, Nan. I hope oh, you've enjoyed thoroughly this. I really enjoyed it, yeah? I really have. We've got to have you back, and you see. You are a very good teacher. Oh, thanks. No, you are. You are, bless you. <laughs> Nan's, Nan's on your high demand. You know, you, there was people calling for you to return to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did. No, you are a good teacher. <laughs> you really are. Oh, bless you. Uh, and I love you. Oh, I love you too. Well, thank you everybody for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this other size of the pop-out gatefold card. Nan's really enjoyed herself. I've really enjoyed myself. And I think we've made two beautiful cards. Aww. So thank you for watching and I'll yes. see you next time. And thank you. Say so bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. You need to wave here, Nan. Thank you for watching. <laughs> bye. Oh. Oh, right.